a lot of exciting stuff going on in your world right now. Your 90 days from WWE is up. You are free agents. You're on top of the world. Can do anything that you guys want to. And that includes just getting home from an incredible trip to Finland. Am I right? Yes. Um, we just spent the, uh, we've, we figured where better to go at Christmas time than the North Pole, right? So we just had an incredible trip. Uh, which we have actually documented and filmed, and it's part of our, our new YouTube series. Where to next, honey? <laughs> <laughs> I thought we were going to say it together, but I oh. guess not. <laughs> I just thought I would let you take it We'll have one. to work on that. Um, but yeah, every Thursday, 11.30 Eastern, we're putting out, putting out a new episode, and the first two are Finland Part 1 and 2. As you mentioned, North Pole for Christmas time. It was It was an unbelievable trip. Husky rides you know, reindeer, Santa, snowmobiling. snowmobiling, taking a cold plunge in the frozen lake, which one of us did and the other one didn't. <laughs> but it was an incredible trip. And it's really just the start. We have a lot of really cool trips coming up. Fiji, Sedona, Quebec, you and know. the honeymoon? <laughs> On our first date, Tanil told me where she was going for her honeymoon. No, and well, where we're going on. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know if I was going to be coming just yet on the first date, but she knew where she was going. So we're going there. We also have an unbelievable trip to Alaska planned the, in a, a remote location to do some bear watching, some salmon fishing. It's going to be an unbelievable trip. Um, also Hawaii for our wedding coming up. So really so cool, <laughs> really cool stuff. Well, basically, up. we had so many exciting travels coming up. Uh, we just thought like we really want to interact with our audience all the people who have supported us over the years so we wanted to kind of involve everyone and and maybe even give them a, a way to um follow in the footsteps and like travel themselves a little bit and just some kind of inspiration so we're hoping to do that well this this is awesome stuff your announcement video when you guys announced the show was absolutely <laughs> hilarious Tanil, you've been traveling like this for an extremely long time years you've been just about everywhere at this point how have these trips changed now uh adding mike to the mix better or worse well it's better because it's easier to get the videos i need now with my <laughs> videographer <laughs> yeah, um, true. yeah but i mean i have been doing this for a very long time and uh this guy has managed to uh, include himself on the trips now <laughs> um but no i love that we can uh, you know i i will say in the past i found myself feeling a little kind of empty, like there was something missing and I was having all these uh, amazing travels and not having anyone to share it with. And now I have him. So I love that. Um, and, and that kind of ties back to the audience too, is so many people were asking me, you know, how do you find these places? Um, I've never heard of that, or I want to go there, or how do I arrange a trip like that? And so that's, um, kind of all what this is part of to, to show them how to do it and, and actually, my my new business that I'm launching is um, Bucket Lust Travels. I have the Instagram ready and the, the website's about to launch. But that's basically uh, giving them all the tools to be able to go do it themselves, like e-guides and downloadable e-books for itineraries, a blog, everything. So Yeah, so I, when I uh, was first talking to Tanil, these are all the things that I wanted to know. When she first slid into my DMs, oh, here we go. you know, coming for me. So. He loves he loves saying that, but you did slide back in my DMs. Sure, but <laughs> let me reiterate: when she first mm -hmm. slid into my DMs, these are the things that I wanted to know. Okay. So these are all the things that you can now know and take advantage of these trips because it's kind of intimidating. I'm always putting in the time trying to research these locations, figure out what the most important. You're lying. You can't lie. <laughs> okay, she's putting in the time researching these locations, <laughs> seeing what the best things are to do in each of these spots. And it's kind of intimidating and you don't, you want to make sure you take advantage of these epic trips. And this is how you do it. You use her. <laughs> like I, hey, I, I just got back from a three week Euro trip. I'm just now coming back on the show all throughout Europe for a Christmas lights tour. I can say firsthand, I, I know how it is. You go on these trips and it's the trip of a lifetime. 
if, if you don't know where you're going, what you're seeing, where you're going to go eat, you leave and you feel like you just wasted the entire <laughs> time, this dream vacation. So uh, really cool stuff, what you guys are doing. We're going to have to check it out for sure. You guys are absolutely on fire. Uh, wasting no time as free agents. I love to see as much as uh, I've been avoiding putting, putting Mike over here. I've been loving keeping the focus on Tennille here. Mike, I got to kick it back to you for a second. Your brother, the defensive coordinator for the Arizona Cardinals, my former team, actually. Uh, real cool stuff. I love the way he buries you in the media when, <laughs> when they ask him questions about his pro wrestler brother. That makes me very happy. But <laughs> your brother's the defensive coordinator. You're a former football player. Do you see yourself getting back into the football world in any capacity uh, now that you have the time and availability to do so? You know, uh, before the season, as you said, he buried me. He said, I'm always asking for tryouts and that I'm washed. And uh, I put that to the test again this this week. And I asked him, like, are you sure you don't need a linebacker for these last few games? And he said, 100 percent. I'm sure I'm not looking for a 34 year old former Achilles torn ACL <laughs> torn. I don't need that. I've been out of the game for 12 years, so I'm I can confidently say that my playing career is behind me, but I do love the game of football. I love sports. So I'm looking forward to getting into the analysis side of things. And I'm actually going to start with the NFL draft because that's coming up after the season. I'm a little late hopping in on this season analyzing, but I want to get into these prospects. I've already started. It's really fun for me to dive back into something that I once loved, but kind of got away from and now taking it very seriously. And, and I'm going to do that on my Twitter page talk all about these prospects, who I like, who I think is overrated, underrated, and uh, see how it, how it turns out. I'll, I'll have some hot takes for you guys coming up. I can help you with that too. <laughs> yeah, kind of like I help with the travels. Yeah, yeah. yeah. that's basically, yeah. that's true. 